body trust with myself by listening to my needs. If I eat a meal and I'm still feeling a little bit hungry, I allow myself to eat that little extra amount that I want instead of judging myself for it and thinking that it's so bad and that I need to go and exercise later to compensate for it. I'm patient with myself. I listen. So that means that even if I plan to do a workout but my body is just so exhausted, I won't force those things to happen anymore because my body is not being restricted and controlled in an uptight way. It doesn't have all of those external cues telling it how to act, how it should feel. Um. And trust is a two-way street and it's important that we do our part to honor our body's needs. And I think it's helpful to start by tuning in and really connecting and trusting that your body is an intuitive being and it's going to tell you exactly what it needs. And the more we show up consistently for ourselves, then we will establish that trust and try to not be afraid of failure because it's not going to look perfect and it's an ongoing process and failure sometimes is how we learn where those boundaries are and uh, it's it's really important work and me and when i think about how that actually applies now like how do i use that body trust today it's in a few different forms. Um, one really is in terms of food, which means that I check in with, what do I feel like eating? Am I hungry? Am I full? As opposed to using external things to tell me that I should eat, whether that's a specific meal plan, whether that's a diet of some sort, like counting calories or macros, or whether that's rules about when I'm supposed to eat or the type of food groups. It's really checking in with my body's wisdom and internal cues as opposed to external. I also think of it in terms of trusting my body to take care of the food. So I trust that when I eat, my body's going to handle it just fine, regardless of what I eat. My body will be okay, it will be able to handle it. And it's going to give me some feedback so that even if I eat a little bit more than feels good, I'm gonna get that feedback. And I can look at that with compassion, with curiosity, checking in with that, as opposed to beating myself up for it. The other part of that is that when I feed my body or when I move my body, I trust that if I'm listening to it, then my body is going to grow in whatever way that it needs. It's going to be whatever size or shape that it needs to be when I'm connected and listening to it. And that goes for food, that goes for movement, that goes for rest, that goes for sleep. So the bigger picture, we're trying to control our bodies because we don't trust them we don't live from a place of choice we live from a place of rules and those rules are prisons right so to age in a well cared for body for me also includes you know exercising the power of choice and feeling empowered in that choice whether that's around food exercise the way I spend my time how much rest I get um, the way I enjoy my time the way that I, you know, use my brain to study or work with clients or whatever it is, that, that all is a choice. And all those choices are possible because I trust my body. I trust that it won't turn on me. I trust its wisdom.